joining us there. While staying social, the New York Times releasing a deeper dive into the profile of three London teens who left their life in the UK to join ISIS. Fox News Middle East and terrorism analyst Waleed Ferris is with me now. So Waleed, how does the social media outreach get girls like this? They were doing well in school. They had supportive families. They, you know, the night before one left was with her niece getting ice cream and then get on a plane the next day to go to Turkey. Well, between this and that, there is a lot, a lot of things have happened. Uh, let's understand that the cyberspace is the space where most of the recruitment is happening now. It's the freest. ISIS, other jihadists, other radicals can outreach and without having to get visas. So this is the actual space of the battlefield. Now, these individuals, teenage girls basically, are uh, being victimized or reached out to because they are in uh, cyberspace and because the recruiters have been able to get to those circles, chat rooms or other me means to make sure that these individuals will be attracted to what's happening in Syria and Iraq. Now the question is, what attracts them? to be able to go and that, well, that's what the beef is. I was just going to ask you that, Waleed, because we know for every one, teen years are a vulnerable time, but it seems as if the people who are recruiting for ISIS and their social media have somehow cracked this code of belonging and they've cracked a code of tradition that at least in these three cases, these girls didn't feel in the UK. There are, as far as we know, as research can tell us, two routes. One would begin by supposing that young females belong to ultra-conservative uh, Islamic families, they have a problem with the suppression they have in their environment not to go out, not to date. Not... So it is really about what teenagers are all uh, interested in. And that space opens to them some sort of freedom. It's a wrong freedom. The other route is basically individuals who are not part of these conservative families or Islamic families, but they are interested in the rebel dimension of ISIS or these jihadists. And that's how they begin. Once they are in, they are indoctrinated and they, they become like the other jihadists. So, Walid, what are you seeing as far as we're supposed to be smarter with big data, we're supposed to be smarter with big data and analysis. How is this system still working to recruit it, vulnerable girls? It, well, the issue is that it's not just about technologies. We have a lot of technologies. It's about social science. It's about values. It's about how to do the war against the ideology. This is where the, the government, the administration has let go. We don't want, Washington doesn't want to touch that. We only want to go technological, but we don't want to go ideological, and that is the price. We always discover this after it happens. Indeed, indeed. Waleed, thank you so much. Waleed, Waleed Farris joining us there. He is the Fox News Middle East and terrorism analyst.